we're here to talk about becoming an expert scout, which is an after-school activity for kids and teenagers that comes with the season's expansion pack. If the ropes and campfires are calling your sims, then child sims can become scouts by using their phone to join an after-school activity. For teenagers, they can join scouts by using their phone to find a job. Sadly, it's still unpaid. That's okay though, because your sim is going to love learning about knots and stuff. Now, scouting occurs on weekends from 2 to 4 p.m. And there are five ranks in this activity. Reaching the top, we'll see your sim gain the scouting aptitude trait, which increases all skill gains by quite a bit. And from my testing, allows them to save around a third of the time when skill leveling. Other rewards include some cool trophies you'll likely forget about and a very stylish expert scouting uniform that you'll have no occasion to wear to. Side note is that I believe the expert scout uniform to be the second swatch in Creator Sim that has all the cute fancy badges. Progressing in the scouting career involves you collecting these badges and when you start out you'll be given the scouting badge board to help you keep track of them. This will appear in your inventory and you can place it and then use it to view the nine badges and your progress towards them at any given time. Under each of the nine badges, it'll show how many tasks you need to complete that align to the badge in order to earn it. Once the progress is completed, you can then use the board to collect the badge. You'll often know you're making progress towards a badge because the related badge icon will appear when you perform tasks that make progress towards it. You'll need one badge for your first promotion, three for your second, six for the third, and all nine for the fourth promotion, which will see you at the very top of the career as a Llama Corn Scout. Note that you solely get your promotions based on how many badges you've collected, not based on actually going to your weekend scouts meetings. So if you complete all the tasks and then collect all the badges back to back, then you can go from the start to the top of the career in a few seconds. Now if you're wondering, how do I get these shiny cool badges, then don't worry, sit back with your matchsticks and fire starters cause I'm here to help. Starting with the arts and crafts badge, you'll need to complete 6 tasks. Kids can make progress towards this by making crafts on an activity table, while for teenagers, completing paintings and woodworking are great ways to make progress. Moving on now to the civil responsibility badge, requiring 8 tasks to be completed. Kids and teenagers can make progress towards this by cleaning, while teenagers are also able to repair objects to make further progress. Next up is the Give Back Badge, requiring 5 tasks to complete. Kids and teenagers can both work towards this by gifting gifts to others under friendly interactions. Teenagers can also make progress by using the mailbox or computer to donate to charity. Charities are also not fussy and will literally take anything you have. You can complete this in 5 seconds by donating multiple selfies of yourself to charity. We will not go into the ethics of that. The Good Deeds badge requires 6 tasks to snap up, and I found the easiest way to earn this is through successful comedy interactions or by taking out the trash. You can also help sims with homework if the opportunity arises. Also requiring 6 tasks is the Keep Fit badge. This one is very easy. Having a dance to some music and playing on swings works for both children and teenagers. For children, other play equipment like monkey bars works well too. Teenagers can also work out on gym equipment like treadmills. This one appears to be time based, so they won't complete tasks by stopping and starting 6 times very quickly. Your sim will need to actually swing or work out for a little while to make progress. Next up is the Outdoor Adventurer badge, and yes, 6 tasks for this one too. For both children and teenagers, fishing and searching for frogs at a pond are both very easy and quick tasks to complete this. If you're a reader, then the Scholarly Aptitude Badge is for you. It requires 5 tasks. This one is completed ridiculously easily by both children and teenagers by reading books and doing homework. Honestly, like one book will pretty much tick off all 5 tasks worth. Sociability requires a rather large 12 tasks. However, it's completed by performing friendly social interactions, meaning that unless your sim is a mad recluse, this will happen naturally. To speed this up, just queue a bunch of friendly social interactions and you'll have this badge in no time. The final badge is Young Scientist, which requires just 5 tasks. 
Using the backyard observatory is a good option for both children and teenagers. Children can also use the Junior Wizard starter set, while a second option for teenagers is the microscope. You just have to find a place to put it, because for some reason the Sims team made the microscope the size of three bathrooms. Once you've completed them all, use the scout board to grab your hard earned badges, bask in the promotions and snap up the handy reward trade. Honestly, joining the scouts is a fun way to make child and teenage years feel a little bit more meaningful and fulfilling. And that's a complete guide to scouts in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.